A colorful display is brightening up a downtown Eugene Alley. We last brought you the story of this mural six months ago, and now it's more than doubled in size. KEZI 9 News reporter Jessica Debus is live in studio with more on this masterpiece. Jessica? Well, Jennifer, back in May, we caught up with the artist who had painted about 60 feet down this alley. Now it stretches all the way to the backside of the LCC housing, and it's still not finished. The story of this mural started with just a few characters. The first guy was this guy here, this, this grouping, Hamlet. The inspiration, Shakespeare. His mother appears to be clueless. Poor Ophelia is drowning. It wasn't long before the plot and the paint on this portrait started to thicken. Like the manager said, go for it and make a mural. So that came back the next day and, and sketched out about 10 feet with some paint I had in my garage, some old house paint. It was back in May when we caught up with Eugene artist Hans de Halsey, who started painting on the side of the New Zone Art Gallery on Broadway. Back then, his piece was only 60 feet. Now Hans is taking his work to new heights, stretching to more than 150 feet. And then when I started filling it in and filling it in, it started to become richer and richer and richer. And at some point, when the mayor came down, she was already like, whoa, how did this happen? Using this 13-foot pole with a paintbrush at the end, Hans says he's put in more than 400 hours and paid for this demonstration on his own dime. And he's only 60% done, with plans to deepen the details. Like ladies blushing, guys with a 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> and brushed to the brim of the building. But even when the strokes of this Shakespearean saga come to an end, Hans hopes the sentiment doesn't. You no, know, there are no gates on either end. It's for you. You know, it's not selling anything. It's like, you want something, take it. You know, take a look. Do you enjoy that and does it make you smile? Hans put his project on kickstarter.com, a website where anyone can go and donate to his craft. He says it will help him continue and eventually put a protective coating on it to preserve the details. In the studio, Jessica Dabbas, KEZI 9 News.